Hello and welcome to T Academy. In today's lecture, we'll be simulating the half wave rectifier circuit which we analyzed in the previous lecture. So if you haven't seen my previous lecture in which I analyzed the voltages and current in a half wave rectifying circuit, you can click the link and watch that lecture. Today in LT Spice, we'll be simulating that circuit and analyzing the different voltages and currents. So let's start. First, I'll add a voltage source with the shortcut V. Then I'll add a diode and rotate it with control R so that its anode is connected to the voltage source. And then I'll add a resistance to the cathode. And with the shortcut W, I can connect the voltage source with the anode of the diode and the cathode with the upper terminal of the resistance and the negative with the lower terminal of the resistance. Then I'll right click the voltage source, click on advanced and I'll select the sign voltage source. So in LT Spice, we have to specify the voltage as peak value. So for a 230 volts RMS, the peak amplitude is around 320 volts and I'll specify the frequency as 50 Hertz and I'll click OK. Then I'll move this slightly with the shortcut M. I'll move it to the left. Then I'll right click the resistance R and specify a value of 1K for the resistance. Then I'll put two labels, with the shortcut N. I'll put a label of V in for the input. and Put it on the voltage source and I'll add another one V out, which will be our half wave rectified output voltage, which we're interested in viewing. I'll put this at the resistance R1. And then I'll press this run button and specify a stop time of 60 milliseconds because a 50 Hertz period translates to a time period of 20 milliseconds. And we are interested in seeing three periods. so. That's why I specify 60 milli here. And every circuit needs to have a ground. So I'll specify a ground with G and connect it to the negative of the voltage source. Then I'll move over to play. So this opens up the plot pane. So I'll move my voltage probe to V in. And this, as you can see, will plot three cycles of the input AC voltage. Now I want to plot the half wave rectified voltage on a different plot pane below this plot. So I will go to the plot and press B, which will open up another plot plane below it. And then I will go and put my voltage probe at the output voltage. And as you can see, it gives a nice half wave rectified voltage where the negative peaks are clipped off and we only have the positive side. Now, if you remember from my previous lecture, we saw that the output current has the same shape as the output voltage. The current is simply V by R. So I will plot the output current on this same plot pane. I will press right click at this plot pane, go to add traces. And here I will click IR1, which is the current through the resistance R1 and press OK. So it gives another plot IR1 with the Y axis on the right hand side, but you can see it follows the same shape as the output voltage, which is something that we expected. Another thing we saw was the drop across the diode. We saw in my previous lecture that the diode must withstand the negative peak of the input voltage. So I will open up another plot pane below these two plots. And then I'll move my cursor to the anode of diode D1, drag it towards the cathode. And this will plot the voltage V in comma V out, which is the difference of V in and V out, the diode voltage. 
And as you can see in the plot pane, it only has negative peaks. And during the positive cycle, it only has a forward drop equal to the diode forward voltage. So in the next lecture, we'll see how we can find out the average value of the output voltage as well as the RMS of the output voltage based on Fourier analysis. So stay tuned and I'll see you in another lecture.